Hey, it's your boy DJ Warfare on a Tuesday. Uh, actually, I'll take that back. First day was Monday, Wednesday morning, February twenty second, two thousand seventeen. Good morning. Um, they were just talking about the lottery uh, just now. Good morning, uh, America. And they said it was four hundred and three million is the current jackpot for the Powerball, and uh, I think if you win the single prize, the sole prize. With taxes, when taking out taxes, you still get a whopping two hundred and forty-two million dollars after taxes. You be like, damn! But they owe me four hundred three million. Look, four hundred three million is a lot of money if you can get it without taxes. Here's my thing: two hundred and forty-two million dollars goes a long way too, because it's two hundred forty-two million you ain't never had before in your life. Or let's put it like this. Uh, it's two hundred and forty forty one million nine hundred and ninety nine dollars that you ain't never had before. Let's put it like that. <laughs> Just adding one dollar to it or something like that. Anyway, uh, who? It's just a lot of money, I'm, and, and I'm, I'm 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 ready to go back to the lottery fever again. Let's get it in. I guess. Oh yeah. Let's get it in. Let's go. Uh, first of all, two hundred and forty-two million. Uh, four hundred and three million. Hell, I take half. Shoot. Hey, I ain't too proud to beg, baby. But I'll tell you that right now. Two hundred forty-two million was set me. Woo! And think about it. You could take a million at if you're in a house. Get your house fixed up. Go move in another house. Move back in your whole house when it get fixed. Sell the other house. Rip that mug out. Make more money. More money. You know, you can go ahead and take about five, you know, or ten, five to ten million and invest. And start some bonds. Let that motherfucker grow. Make more money. More money. You go out there and, you know, start your own business with a portion of that, so a small portion of that money. Make more money. More money. Put some of that money back in the bank. Let it grow. And other investments. Make more money. You know. See this is the problem for a lot of these guys who get the lottery. They want to be generous to everybody. And don't allow that money to grow. You know. That's part of the problem. And the other part. They get money happy. They should start spending money on everything. And they don't invest. But I can tell you right now. God willing. If I ever hit a lottery with that kind of number. Believe me. I'm going to take a small amount of that money and invest. You know, I'm well, I'm going to take a I'm going to try to take a good portion of money and invest. I'll take that back. Because with 242 million, you could take at least 100 to 100 half of that money and and and, and, and put it in the bank, let it grow. You could take a, another half and take half of that other half. And, and, and start some businesses and get some work done in the house or buy a new house or whatever, pay the house off. You know, there's so many different things you could do with the 242 million if you ever had. So many things, so many things. You just got to know how to use your money wisely. That's all. But like I said, uh, you, uh, you heard it was a show, I, I, it was called uh, The Lottery. I know one was called The Lottery Changed My Life or The Lottery Destroyed My Life, something like that. Well, these guys. They took the money, didn't use any common sense, and just went haywire with it because they didn't take the time to get uh, uh, like a, a proper or top flight financial advisor to, to advise them on how to use that money wisely. They just took it off and went haywire with it and started spending money on every damn thing. And don't get me wrong. Now, this is me. I would have set aside $5 million just to do that. Just to five. You know? Now it depends if they get all one. Now if I get that one lump sum, that's how I would do it. I would take about at least maybe three to five million. Not a whole lot, but just three to five million. It's purge. Specifically for that. Then I say again, I take about another fifteen to twenty million, invest, take a portion of about one hundred fifty million, put it in the bank, and, and you know, and the rest of the stock and bonds, you know. That's what you do. 
You don't go haywire with that kind of money, man. You just can't. That money is that's responsibility, man. The people that get that kind of money, they lose their fucking minds. And the people who see them with that kind of money, they allow them to let them do it. Or they, you, you know, you get tricked into a thing where they say, "Oh, this costs about so you something you usually would pay a, a regular amount." Like for example, uh, you go out and buy a new car with the, all the works, and the car is probably about maybe about forty grand. You'd be paying eighty grand by the time you, you know, you'd be probably paying double that on that same car just because you had hit the lottery. And you gotta be responsible. You want to have that kind of keep that kind of money around for a long time. For uh, you know, to invest in and do it the right way, you gotta learn how to save it. You gotta learn how to invest. You gotta learn how to spend it wisely. That's all I'm saying, and that's why I said that's what get a lot of these so-called millionaires in trouble. They just they lose their minds when they get the money. You know, like I said, if I got a lump sum, I'm gonna take at least five million that month. There's no joke. I take five million and spurge after two hundred forty-two million. But that five million will go with the spurs. Okay, maybe ten. That's it. <laughs> you know? And like I said, if I have, uh, you know, a little left over, which I probably will, I would take some. And if I need to help out some family members, I would. But I wouldn't go around like, hey, you know, bro. And I move away. That's the other thing I move. I would move as far away as I could from now. That's the main thing I would do. I said, I don't even want you around me because I know how y'all did. Y'all get. If I got a little money. Also, you gonna lose your damn mind? Oh, bro, uh, bro, uh, bro, hey, 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 could, hey, hey, bro, I got this idea, man. You know, we're gonna be selling these, uh, these, uh, these tapes, man. You know what I'm saying? These, you know, these, 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 these freaky, freaky, freaky girl tape, man. You know what I'm saying? And we, we, it's gonna be all, oh, man. Come on, man. I, I just need about, about, about two million cash, man. Two, man. Get my own studio, man. Got place over here on Broadview, man. man. Man, we can set up the shops, man. We got the oh, we got all kinds of stuff, man. You know, give, give me the hook up, bro. Bro, come on, you good for it? You know, you good for it? You got two for a minute? Come on, man, you good for it? You ain't gonna miss all that, man. Come on, come on. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. So and that alone would be why you would move away. You know, if you want to help me out a little bit, that'd be fine. But for me, it would be a stipend. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, here's ten, ten thousand for you, ten thousand for you, ten thousand for ten. That's it. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> I leave it at that. Seriously. <laughs> That's what I do. So, with that in mind, <laughs> I'm just thinking. I need to go play a lottery tonight. I need to <laughs> need a new pair of shoes. <laughs> and a bunch of other stuff. All right. That's DJ Wolf. That's all I got. Question, comments. Uh, I can be reached at For All To Hear on Twitter. For All To Hear TV. On YouTube. DJ Wolf Online. On Facebook.com. Uh, of course, here, if you want to uh, listen to my any of my shows, Spreaker.com forward slash DJ Wolf Live. And I can be reached on you on Yahoo at DJ Wolf Live or DJ Wolf Online. I'm sorry, DJ Wolf Online at Yahoo.com. I don't know why I always mess up on those. All right, guys, this is DJ Wolf. That's all I got to say right now. I got more uh, to say on the back burner. I'll talk to you guys later.